your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, bring you guys a fun and exciting video, and ladies and gentlemen, this is a video that is so big and so lit, it requires two people to team up and make it happen. Who I have here with me today is a rising star here on YouTube who makes epic Pokemon anime content, and he goes by Infamous Trainer. If you guys have not seen his content or his channel, then do yourselves a big time favor and do exactly that. Support my boy. We even did a video together featured on his channel, which I will link you to in the description down below. Yo, how's it going, Pokechamps and Legends alike? This is your boy Infamous Trainer, and today we're jumping onto a video with Crasher talking about will Ash Ketchum get himself Latias in the Pokemon Journeys slash 2019 anime. Now, this is a very dicey topic and something that I know a lot of you guys have wanted us to talk about. If you guys are new to the content that Crasher brings, make sure you guys do like up the video, share the video out so other Pokemon trainers can see it, and let's dive into it. So let's take you guys back all the way to the year 2002, where the movie Pokemon Heroes Latios and Latias first came out in Japan till 2003, where it had a North American release. We have that movie feature the legendary Eon duo of Latios and Latias. Now let us focus specifically on the Latias here. Towards the beginning of Pokemon Heroes, we had ourselves the race in Ultomar featuring Ash and Misty, through the race, we seen Latias take a special interest in Ash, and even assisted Ash during the race for a short time. Now, throughout the movie, we seen multiple scenes where Ash with his Pikachu and Latias bond together, from Ash rescuing Latias from Annie and Oakley, to being shown the secret garden where Latias played with Ash and Pikachu, becoming great friends. There are even scenes where Latias shares what she sees through Latios, aka sight sharing. As the movie progresses, we see Latias coming to Ash for help during scenes involving Annie and Oakley, causing trouble. At the end of the movie, it's unclear whether it's Bianca or Latias that gives Ash the sketch of him and Pikachu and kisses him, but if it were in fact Latias, that is even more proof of how much of a bond they truly share. Now let's fast forward nearly two decades later in 2020, where we have Pokemon Journeys. That anime is shown to be insanely unpredictable, especially for Ash, because no one ever thought Ash would catch a fully evolved Dragonite and Gengar, as well as hatch a Riolu, but it happened. If we take a look specifically at Ash and Riolu, it could be a nod at the movie Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, where Ash and Lucario bonded throughout the movie and even shown to have the power of Aura and remind Lucario of Sir Aaron. And if we look at the recent events of episode 21 of Pokemon Journeys, we can see Ash and Aura being a thing once again. What I'm getting at is this. It feels like something that was derived from the Pokemon movie universe that came into fruition in the main series universe. What if we get the same sort of thing here in the future of the series with Ash and Latias? Also, ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget about the big one, the granddaddy of them all, the Pokemon World Championships, and specifically, the potential return of some strong characters in the top eight. What if we were to see Tobias return with his Latios in the series? What if Ash got a rematch versus Tobias like the fans wanted since their encounter back in the Gen 4 anime? What if we were to get a one vs one match where it features Tobias and his Latios versus Ash and his Latias? It may be a bit of a stretch here, but let's not rule out that possibility given what we have so far, and we even have the Pokeraf making a recent video where he talks about the potential for Tobias to return. You should check it out. Now, to add on to that knowledge, we have some additional artwork as well as Pokemon merch that could possibly give us a small confirmation of seeing Latias in the anime. First starting off with this Pokemon toy set showing off the Galar starters alongside Pikachu and other Pokemon, but at the bottom you can see Latios and Latias. In the next image you're going to see Latias running around with different Pokemon looking something similar to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, so I'm wondering if it played a part into that game as I have personally not played it, but again it's more pictures of Latios and Latias and more merch pointing to them. In addition from the magazine, we can also see Latios alongside Greninja, which could possibly mean that Ash Greninja and Latios could be joining Ash at some point in his adventure. And lastly, you'll see for the last image, we can see the same toys, but in an actual photographic version. And I'm hoping that this can mean we'll see Latios even for a brief time. 
Now, like Croucher was saying earlier, I do feel like Latios could come into Ash's team, something similar to Tapu Koko, to where it will have a match of Ash vs Tobias and Latios will come down to battle Latios, making it an epic battle of Eon Dragon Pokemon going against each other. Now, I don't think 100% Ash will capture this Pokemon, as Ash is not known for catching super high quality known legendaries, as Melmetal was an exception because it wasn't known to anyone besides the Pokemon Go games, and that Pokemon was so new. Overall, I could see this being a traveling companion Pokemon that would join Ash's team from time to time when he's in tough situations or just need a great lovable Pokemon to ride on. So with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think about this? What are your opinions on what was discussed here in this video? Would you guys like to see Ash get a Latios in Pokemon Journeys? Would you like to see Ash rematch Tobias with a potential Latios vs Latios matchup? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And also, I want to add on, man, thank you, Crasher, for having me in this video, man. We absolutely smacked it out of the park with the Tyranitar video. And again, if you guys haven't checked that video out, please check it out where me and Crasher crushed it and talk about why Ash Ketchum could catch himself a Tyranitar. Well, I will link to that in the description down below. And again, hopefully you guys did enjoy the content we did today for you guys. We have more of this coming because we make a fire duo and want to deliver that high-class quality munching content for you guys. And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it here for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope to God you did, especially with the appearance of Infamous Trainer, then you guys know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, guys, smash it up in the comments down below, because we love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will. That ain't ever going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And your boys, we'll see you guys in the next one.